Hi students. So I had a request to uh, draw a harpy eagle, which is an awesome animal. It's a very large, very strong eagle. And it has some um, pretty fun feathers on the top of its head and big talons. And I thought, sounds awesome. And then I thought, what a great chance for me to kind of go over with my students how to break things down into basic shapes as well and why you want to do this. So I do not want breaking things down into basic shapes to become a crutch for you. I don't want you to do it every time you draw for the rest of your life. I want you to understand how to do it so that your mind and eyes start to do it on their own without having to really physically put it on the paper. And the reason we do this is so that you don't spend a whole lot of time drawing one part of your drawing just to work your way to another part and realize this part was wrong. Because if you place them in the wrong spot, if they're disproportionate in size, then you'll find out after the fact and you will have spent a great deal of time already on the drawing. And you won't want to change it. I had a college professor that called it getting precious with it. And I know exactly what they meant. You, you're precious about that particular part and you don't want to correct. If you spend a minute planning out where things are going to go and you sort of lightly draw them in until they're correct, then you have a better opportunity to erase things if you find out that they are wrong. So in the case of the eagle, um, I'm going to be putting the harpy eagle on a diagonal, and this is not my drawing. I'm gonna show you how I kind of see and look at the eagle before I draw it. I look at the basic shape of its head, and I see kind of a teardrop shape. I look at the basic shape of its body, and I see an oval. I look at the basic shape of the tail area and I see a rectangle. I look at the feet and I see that there's two sort of oval situations there with um, rectangles attached and then a sort of, I don't know what kind of shape this is, but a shape sort of like this. Over this, there's another oval. Here, there's another oval. Here, there's a sort of triangle, but it's curved. And then this actually moves out to something here. And this comes down here. Now that I have this in place, and I can start to see how my eagle's going to be shaped. And again, I'm not really drawing my eagle for you. I'm gonna do a line-by-line -line tutorial for you. I just wanna get a different color Sharpie. I have so many Sharpies. Mm, let's try red. and start to add details of the eagle without realizing that my placement is incorrect. And if at this point I found out that, you know, some of my lines were incorrect and I were drawing lightly in pencil, I would simply erase it. I'm going to put it on a branch here. Okay, so I hope that this helps 
a little bit. It's going to be a really fun drawing. Okay, I'll uh, switch over to a different piece of paper and I'll show you how to do the Harpy Eagle. Hi students. Okay, I'm back with the Harpy Eagle. I have done a sketch of the Harpy Eagle in pencil on my paper because I wanted to kind of know where I was going to put the Sharpie lines before I placed them. And now I'm going to draw over it in Sharpie. You can draw along with me on the Sharpie and then I'll do the erasing, which is, you know, what we call at school the trace and erase. So first I'm going to start with the beak. I have this line here to go down the, wait for it, remember students, if your Sharpie doesn't work, pressing hard is not the answer, there we go, down, and then this shape of the beak right here is kind of a long curve to a point, back up and past that original line. Now the harpy I'm looking at online has um, an open mouth. The bottom jaw dips down a little bit. I'm gonna put this part in and then this part. And this little uh, hole in the nose lets them breathe. The eye does not sit any higher than the beak. The top of the eye is in line with the top of the beak, or the eyebrow, I guess, the feathers of the brow. And it doesn't go, the center of the eye doesn't go past this part of the beak. So you really want the eye nested right in here. So I'm going to have this line for the top of the eye. and then the bottom of the eye. And when you color in the eye with the Sharpie, you're gonna leave a little a light area for the reflection. Because this eye is here, the other eye is here. We can't see it because it's behind the beak. But we do see this sort of feather detail right here that then works its way into these large feathers that the harpy eagle has. And on the picture I'm looking at, they're very, like they're sort of subdued and flattened back down, but in a lot of pictures I saw, they're really fun and whimsical and sticking straight up, and you can do that too. Now, for this area here, it's all soft feather. So I'm gonna use a soft feather line for all of this down into here and then you see a tiny little bit of the feathery face over here right along the edge of the beak right there and it actually comes out a little bit and then tucked right up under it is the body. To the top of the the top of the wing with the feathers on the top of the wing. Here's the shoulder. And this connects to this. My son is watching Peg plus Cat. I don't know if you can hear it, but they're doing some very aggressive counting. Kind of funny. Okay, so now we have two more sections of the wing. We have these long feathers here and these long feathers here.
and then this part is the tail. So before we get into this, because we also have some fluff under here, I'm going to bring this down to the leg. So this is a gray area of the chest, and the rest of the feather body comes back up here. It actually is up. Let me really look at this heartbeat. It's really up here. And then this is going to come down in front of the back leg and then touch the front leg. The front, both these legs have like a feathery area where it connects to the body. So I want to put that in here with a feather line. It's like a soft line. And then I'm going to put this one in starting here because you don't see it past the body to here and back up to there. This is the rest of the far wing. So I'm just going to put that in right here. And that really disappears. Okay, so this is a feathery area, very fluffy, very light on the underside of the bird. And it meets up with what you can see of the tail feathers that are visible from the outside of the bird. And then here are the tail feathers that are on the underside of the bird. The feet, right, the claws, have three claws in the front and one in the back like this. So the one in the back is mostly hidden because I'm putting it on a branch. So I'm going to put the three out front and they're kind of separated and then the one out the back is just only a little bit visible. So let's put this line here and this is going to be the furthest away toe. It's going to touch this toe. These are not the talons, these are just like the toe part that holds it. And then this, and here's the branch, and I'll have that go to here. And then the talons, which on the harpy eagle are pretty long. And then we're going to do something similar to the other foot. This goes behind. the far toe, that toe, and that toe, cut, and then the rest of the branch. And I kind of want this branch to have something interesting. Now every time you go between a toe where you could see the branch, you draw the branch. Or talon. I guess I should be calling them talons. Bless you, hon. No, I'm still videoing. <laughs> I said bless you to my son. Okay, so the rest of this is um, what I have done in pencil is some of the details that you may or may not want to add with your Sharpie. Um, you can put in a little bit more of this uh, top feather line to make these feathers.
and then maybe some details here and here, and then maybe some like, um, their legs, their feet are kind of gnarly in like a cool kind of crusty way. So you could give them little marks like that. Okay, I'm going to erase this and see what it looks like when the um, value drawing is gone. And it should look something more like with a single line, like a single Sharpie would have looked. You know what I want to do? I think I want to darken. There. All right, let's check it out. So I have a big eraser. Sorry about the wiggly camera. It's on the same table as the drawing. Okay, and there is my Harpy Eagle. So I hope you have enjoyed this, and I hope you develop yours, maybe add some clouds. Uh, maybe it's in the Amazon, which is where this version lives. Um, maybe it's stalking something tasty to eat and maybe you do more to your drawing all right kids take care I'll talk to you in a bit